In this video, I will demonstrate how to do a one-tailed independent samples hypothesis test. In my example here, I have average hourly earnings for males and average hourly earnings for females. And I'm interested in answering the question, do the earnings of males exceed the earnings of females by more than $2 per hour? There are some things to make note of in this question. First, I'm looking at a one-tailed test. I know that because of the word exceed. Do the earnings of males exceed the earnings of females? I did not say, do the earnings of males, are the earnings of males different than the earnings of females? But rather, we're asking, are males earning more than females? And not just are they earning more, but are they earning, does the amount that they're earning more exceed $2 per hour? And so I'm looking at a value that's different from zero. Not just is one bigger than the other, but is the one that's bigger this much bigger or larger? All right, well, let's get started. Let's go to the data menu. Let's go to data analysis. We will select t-test, two samples assuming unequal variances. Click OK. Our variable one range. I included the very first cell in there, that was the label. Variable two range. I'm going to check labels since I did include that label, that first row. The hypothesized mean difference is that $2 per hour. So I'll put in two right there. For output range, I'll put it somewhere on this sheet, somewhere convenient. Right there. OK. Here are our results. We have the average hourly earnings for males is $17.70 per hour. The average hourly earnings for females is $15.35 per hour. We can see that that's a little bit more than $2 greater. But is this enough in our sample, this difference large enough in our sample, to conclude for our whole population that men on average earn $2 more per hour than women? And for that, we will look at our p-value for the one-tailed and it is right here. That p-value is 0 0.015, or about 1.5%. That is less than our typical significance level of 0 0.05. So we do conclude the alternative hypothesis that, yes, males, the earnings of males do exceed the earnings of females by more than $2 per hour.